In there, and then you just randomly start shooting somebody. There's no aim assist, and then there's no aim assist here. Little bitch, little bitch, you like this? Dick, huh? You like this? Dick? Oh my god, oh my god, I got the clip finally. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Limbo here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And in that intro clip, that was an entire montage and day of me trying my hardest to become a movement demon, trying to YY, trying to actually abuse movement and actually get good at omni movement and i think i did pretty well movement is something that i wanted to talk about because a lot of people really like omni movement a lot of people really don't like it and people just don't understand it at all yet and i kind of want to talk about my entire thoughts on it what should change what should improve and my favorite things and talk about like what you can actually do with movement because i don't think a lot of people actually realize what they can do with it all right so so far for the movement i think that it's feels nice not too good like modern warfare 3's movement but it's something new and look at that guy oh my god what in the world did i just see right there it's this guy spinning as well what the hell but the movement needs to be a little bit smoother but i like it you know the omni movement i like omni movement i think it changes up call of duty and, like what you can actually do for gunfights so Yeah, I really do like it. And I think that it should be in the next Call of Duty or so. Because you could do you could do so many things. Oh my gosh. That was trash aimed by me. And I think Omni Movement itself is such a good concept that needs to be fully flushed out. That hasn't really been fully flushed out. We're just gonna have to wait for it to be flushed out in the next coming Call of Duties. Or it could be like a Treyarch thing as well. But yeah, my thoughts on movement are literally that it's good. It just needs to get used to and worked on to be better. I don't think it's perfected yet, but it's at a good spot, man. But yeah, like, I feel like movement is going to take a while to, you know, obviously get used to, but just to actually feel stable and, like, you know, somewhat good. It's going to take a while for it to feel smooth is what the word is. But I really like the change in um, movement as well. Rather it just being slide cancel, slide cancel, jump shot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's so many more ways fights could happen and end and so many more possibilities within fights that not every fight feels the same, you know, especially on that first day where everyone was learning the game, right? There we go. Yeah, like the movement feels great. The only thing I would like to see be changed is just really nothing if I'm being honest. I don't think there's anything wrong with the movement at all. Literally, I was just trying to improve it more. I don't think nothing has to be really changed about it, you know? Nothing's really overpowered, and there's no, like, movement technique at all, except for, like, one or two things that everyone can learn. You know what I'm saying? Even on console, you can do it. Like, I would rather see them change the actual gameplay with the weapons and TTK than the actual movement. Maybe, like, the responsiveness of the actual, you know, buttons and all that stuff should change. Like, how quick the uh, response time is to the dive, the slide, all that stuff. Dude, let me, like, swap. But, yeah, like, movement itself, I feel like it's at a good point. It just needs to be improved on, man. You know, there's nothing that should be nerfed or changed, dude. But I wouldn't be surprised if there is a movement nerf or debuff. Because you know how Call of Duty has been for the last, like, couple years. They've always changed movement after the launch and all that stuff and experiment. I'm already kind of just expecting it. But I feel like what needs to be improved is literally just the timing of it. Maybe the key binds as well and, like, what you're able to do, right, for key binds. Because right now on controller, like, a lot of people are just not really using the Omni movement, which is honestly unfortunate. Like, I switched from tap to slide to hybrid, and it's been a good switch. It's just that... You know, I have a lot more possibilities and fight to win and actually do things.
There we go. I would like to see like more, I would say, control over what we can do, more freedom with what we can do in the settings. Key binds, the actual like tactical movement as well, or the movement settings, right? Cause this is all we can do. I don't even know if they're limited, like how the guns are limited and all that stuff and the HUD are limited. Like maybe more movement advanced settings that we could, you know, possibly change and all that stuff. And or describe and have better details and info about what everything does for the assist because a lot of people even now still are still confused about what the hell things do because like man if people find out what they can do because remember modern warfare 2019 like the first couple months before warzone the movement and like the gameplay was like old call of duty where people would only just slide not even cancel or anything like that and or like jump shot maybe like here and there but it wasn't like the main part all you would do is run shoot run shoot run shoot with an occasional slide maybe a dive as well you know it was just basic call of duty movement and then once warzone came out and people realized the potential within the movement everything has changed so i feel like that's going to happen but with omni movement and for black ops 6 where people are not going to use it at first or, or people are going to stay very limited with their movement but once you know warzone comes out and or like a big movement change happens like an update nerf balance buff anything like that I feel like a lot of people are going to start using Omni movement with the dive, even with the slide and all that stuff, because there's a lot of things you could do. And there's a lot of things that a lot of people are not doing. So maybe that's why they play bad. Maybe that's why they're not good at the game. I don't know. But either way, I encourage everyone right now to have hybrid on and or the slide and dive feature there and enabled and just learn what you can do within the game, because you can backwards dive, sideways dive. You can also slide backwards, dive to the side right you can look around as well because i've seen seeing a lot of people just dive and then not look around when they can literally do this right and or watch 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 i'm gonna dive straight to my oh i messed it up yeah like you can literally look like that just like that and there's so many things that you can do to win a fight now but yeah if you're struggling in black ops 6 my biggest suggestion is to just try out the Omni movement and try to learn it because you're at a disadvantage if you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you limit yourself to whatever, you know, slide slash die behavior, man, I feel like you're really missing out on kills, actually having fun with the gameplay, and so many other things. But yeah, like, I feel like once a lot of people learn how they can abuse on the movement and like what they can really do it's gonna be a uh, fun time for the actual game you know what I'm saying like fights will be a lot more different all the time than just like the regular stuff that we've been dealing with for the last like you know couple of years you see how i could just dive right there like even though i literally died there but you know how like i could literally peek like that out of nowhere after he saw me just like run away Look, look, look at this guy. He's going off. And like you can kind of juke out people with the movement as well. So let's say like someone's right here, right? I slide. I could dive like that. And or I'm right up here. You know, 360 him and all that stuff to kind of get him confused. Like there's so many things that you can do with the Omni movement that a lot of people are not taking advantage of. And all it takes is just literally learning and playing the game. So if you guys haven't played the beta yet and or you're not really fully using Omni movement, my biggest suggestion to you is to just learn it. And it's going to take a couple of games to get used to and to kind of figure out what you can do. But like actually look at the kill cams, actually look at what other pros are doing all that stuff. Like right there, I could have slid to the like if I'm if I'm hiding in this corner, I could have slid like right there. Right. And if I know he's back here, I could literally Get my sprint and then slide backwards, bro. But yeah, man, like if you guys haven't played the beta yet and or like you just don't know what you're doing right now with movement and you're trying to learn it, literally just watch other people play. Watch how they kill you and just think of the possibilities because you can sprint literally anywhere now. Also, I was supposed to make a video on this yesterday, but like the entire band wave is just absolutely wild, dude. Like it's crazy to me that that's happening, but I'm excited to see you like for the CDL and all that stuff, like what is going to happen because... Dude, these pros, really, like Shotzi and like even former Call of Duty pros, the so people that are, you know, CDL players and people that do like all that, you know, competitive stuff, they've been going off, man, with the movement, dude. And it's a whole like learning period for everybody, which is a really fun part about the game. See, like right there, I got out of cover by using the Omni movement. 
right there he wasn't expecting it oh my gosh but like once you learn what the hell to do in scenarios like what the possibilities are and like you know how to execute them literally things are you know not even like you know things are possible anything's possible at this point but yeah like my favorite thing so far about the omni movement is just like the possibilities obviously learning what i can do but also i'm gonna be straight up like the clips that i get while abusing the movement man i think it's broken to a certain degree but if you're a good player and you know like the possibilities and like how to counter to those possibilities i think you'll be fine you know like if someone is abusing the slide right all you have to do is hold an angle against them that happened many times within that game if someone's abusing the dive hold the angle against them if someone is holding a corner and all that stuff abuse the dive use speaker's advantage on them dude if you know someone's pushing you literally dive or slide break their camera this is my first ever like game i think we're gonna see a lot of jackals this guy's sniping good luck bro oh my god i have not played this map so this is gonna be uh something new I really hope I don't get banned, dude. The ban wave has just been crazy. Holy crap, how am I alive? I don't want to go on a, like a crazy ass streak, dude. I'm too afraid to get banned, bro. Is there no kill streaks, bro? Holy crap. There's actually no kill streaks. That's stupid. I did not know that about face off. Pretend to know. I'm actually locked in. I gotta move. I gotta move. They're gonna be targeting me. Go! 